In this video, we will study the concept of poverty line. Now, what is the poverty line? See, it refers to a cutoff point usually in terms of per capita expenditure. which divides people of a region as poor and non-poor. See, uh, if the poverty uh, line is made, let's say on term of expenditure, let's say rupees 1500 per month, if a person if, or if a family can spend over rupees 1500 per month, then he's non poor, then they're non poor, or the family who is not able to even spend 1500 per month is a poor family. So this is actually a poverty line and poverty line is actually made on the expenditure. The expenditure which is done by the people. So in, uh, I mean like according to the World Bank research or the World Bank survey, there are many millions of people who are below poverty line that they cannot spend even dollar 1.90 per day, which means Rupee 68 approx. Oh, sorry, which means rupees 120 approx. People in India are so poor that they are not able to spend even 100 or 120 rupees per day on the consumption. So, the people who cannot spend dollar 1.90 per day are the poor and they are below the poverty line so people above poverty line are non poor i'm not saying they are rich but they are non poor and below poverty line they are poor section of society so this is how poverty line helps to you to estimate the poor section and the non-poor section of the society. See the percentage of population below poverty line is called headcount ratio or you can also call it as poverty incidence ratio see you can find out the poverty line either on the basis of expenditure or on the basis of income you can choose either of these two uh, to find out the poverty line of a country but the preferable method to find out the poverty line cutoff is expenditure method whereas your income only gives the I mean like parameter that what is the purchasing power right so this is the reason you use the expenditure whereas expenditure tells us how much actually the uh, family is spending or is spending on the consumption of goods and services. So we, uh, we actually use expenditure as the best parameter to find out the cutoff or the poverty line. Now how is poverty line fixed in India? There are some procedures through which the poverty line is fixed in 
India. The first procedure is in the estimation of consumption cutoff, only private consumption expenditure is considered. We all know that in the in the previous slide we have done that we take expenditure in order to find out the poverty line. So we find we take into consideration only private consumption expenditure. of the citizen to find out this poverty line that in private consumption expenditure we consider not only food items but also as the non-food items food as well as non-food items items are considered food items which means your food in your uh, rice wheat pulses you eat whereas non-food items means your Health facilities and education. Are you able to provide education to your children? Or during the time of illness, are you able to get the health facilities? Are you able to spend on the health facilities? If yes, then you are non poor. If no, then you are below the poverty line. Third is the frequencies are recorded against each class interval indicating a particular level of consumption. Each frequency count the number of heads belonging to the particular consumption class. So we actually take the statistics into consideration. We make the class intervals and we assign the frequencies according to the data collected. Then finally the head count ratio. is worked out showing poor and non-poor separately for the rural and urban area. So this is how your poverty line is fixed in India. Categorizing poverty. Now how do we categorize our poverty? Category 1 are you chronic poor? Those who are always poor and those who are usually poor, like landless workers, casual workers, rickshaw pullers, right? So these are the chronic poor. These, these are poor and they will always be poor. Category 2. Are the transient poor just because you are not getting the world you do not have the money with you to spend and you are not able to uh, do the expenditure for a smaller period of time which means the occasionally poor or the seasonal worker that the poverty is for shorter period of time or for the seasonal time so your seasonal worker or you are occasionally poor because you do not have work for now but you will definitely get work after 1 month or 10 days or 20 days category 3 never poor which means above poverty line people above poverty line people or you can say population so in this way we have categorized the poverty. I hope you liked our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.